Oh no, I'm dead. <laughs> oh no. Oh, and his tongue flopped out and everything. Hi, I'm Mr. Chance. Welcome back to another episode of The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD. Last time, Link did his best audition for Hemlock Grove, transforming into a wolf. But now he's been locked away. The audition didn't go well, I guess. Uh, and he's been blacklisted. So we are stuck. Oh no, we're stuck onto this chain here. Let's see if we can break free. Oh, <laughs> I guess not. Gonna be like the bulldog, the little pit bull from Babe Pig in the City. Break free of that chain and run. Whoa, hello. Got a familiar friend here. Well, he's not familiar in the... yet. We haven't gotten to know this mischievous little creature just yet. Hello. Little peg legs, I found you. Ooh, aren't you scary? <laughs> Are you sure you want to be doing that? Snarling and glaring at me? Well, that's too bad. I was planning on helping you if you were nice. Yeah, nice puppies get treats. Hehe, <laughs> that's much better. You humans are obedient to a fault, aren't you? <gasps> How'd you know I was human? Oh, but you aren't human anymore, are you? You're a beast. <laughs> there, there. You be a good boy and calm down. No need to bite. I can't bite with my one little sharp tooth. Smash. All right. So our chain is broken, but we're still left with a nice little fashion accessory. You look kind of surprised. <laughs> Nice little bracelet we can wear on our wrist. So I bet you're wondering, where exactly are we? Whoosh. Well, I'll make you a deal. If you can get over here, maybe I'll tell you. Ee hee. All right, you little imp. We'll find our way over there. Dogs are resourceful. All right. You know, werewolves, well, were, were, werewolves, <laughs> werewolves are interesting, you know, because you can be, because Link is technically a werewolf in this game. Um, you can be, um, can we dig under here? You can be a person, um, who transforms into, like, kind of a person wolf. Um, or you can be a person who transforms into a wolf wolf. Um, come on, what's the matter with you? Get over here now. If you can't force your way out, why don't you see if there's some kind of hole you can squeeze through? I mean, places like this are always full of holes, right? Like this plot. Oh, no. Um... We just need to find a hole to dig into. Oh, it's probably actually under the gate, right? Dig, 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 dig. Smash, smash, smash. There's our hole. All right, we'll dig under here. Come out looking all dirty. We need a rinse. Shake that dirt off. Where'd she go this time? Oh, hello. Hey, I don't know you well enough to let you ride me. I'm usually wait until at least the second date before we do that. I guess you're not completely stupid after all. Listen, I like you, so I think I'll get you out of here. Hey, now you're tugging on my ear. But in exchange for my help, you have to do exactly as I say. If you need anything from me, just press L to give me a sign. So are we all clear? Good. Now come on, let's get moving. Ouch. All right, she's a little bossy. All right, let's press L, see what she has to say. Right, that's the way. If you ever need help, just press L to call me. As long as you're a good boy, I'll be happy to lend a hand. You know, Link is acting like he doesn't like this. You know, her riding on his back. And, um, oops, I didn't mean to go back in there. I thought it was saying to dig, uh, to dig in the hay. Hey! But Link really, you know, he never talks. So he's used to being told exactly what to do by Zelda or someone else, so he's used to have being, theoretically, being ridden all the time. All right, let's grab onto this. Let's go in here. Onto the next area. So having someone literally on his back really isn't all that different. This is the perfect symbol for Link's put upon nature. You know, he has the weight of the world on his shoulders. Now he has the weight, this weird little twilight creature. Oh, well, well, e he he. Want to see something interesting? You're a beast, remember? Press X to hone your senses and poke around. Hello, scared little soldier. Oh, oh, can't run away farther. That's far enough, right? I'll be safe here, I think. What was that noise? Don't, 
Don't anything come near me. I'm right here. I'm right near you. Ah, 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 ah. I'm a sneaky little puppy. All right, let's see. Oh, hello again. <laughs> that was a soldier spirit. Yes, I gathered that. Maybe it's someone from the other world. Ee -hee. There are lots of other spirits roaming around here, you know. Hone your senses with X to see them. They might know things. All right, let's go jump over here. There's a little monster down here. Let's drop down. We can actually shake him like a little newspaper toy. All right, let's... I don't know where this is <laughs> latching on to. <laughs> there it is. Okay, so we're going to jump up here then. Go in here. Dash down this hallway. So let's smash the crap out of this box. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Shows we're big and tough. We can take on a box. Let's pick up a... Oops. <laughs> I was going to pick up the skull and run around with it. Like a dog with a bone. All right, let's go up in here. Oops, hello again. I doubt you're used to your new body yet, so I'll just tell you. Think about how you fought enemies in your human form. Just because your shape has changed doesn't mean your instincts have as well. Yep, we can still pick stuff up. Well, that's changed. Um, did that open this way? Yeah. There's a little rat here. A little, a little rat monster. Chew him, smash that skull. All right, let's pick this. I just want to pick this skull up and carry it around. <laughs> like a little security blanket. Um, but I think we can... Can we throw it? That guy... Oh, we missed. All right. Take him out. Let's pull this up. That's going to flood the area. Zelda games love playing with water levels. 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 All right. So let's... Um, oops. We don't want to do that again. We're going to pick this skull up. Carry it around. Oops. Throw it. <laughs> and now... Oh, hello. Take you out. All right, we should be able to doggy paddle now across these spikes. This is how I swim in real life. Just kind of paddling over here with my head above the water. All right, we can't attack him, though. In puppy form. All right, get rid of him. We are playing on hero mode, so I lost a heart just then. I need to be a little extra careful because there's no way to refill hearts. What are these black things? Where are they coming from? And how do we get out of here? We'll never know. Now, I'm not quite sure, like, are they in the real world? Or, um, you know, are they dead? I'm not even sure. Oh, they're this way, over here. I'll be waiting for you, but you have to help yourself for a change. I mean, really, I've been doing everything on my own anyway, so this won't be all that different. But I see another spirit down there that we can talk to. So let's see if there's anything over here first. Let's get rid, oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> I really don't want to get hit. There we go. Because, um, like I said, there's no way to refill hearts, and it's not like I have jars, you know, as a wolf that I can chow down on. All right, let's go up in this tunnel and bust this box. That really did absolutely nothing for us. So let's... Did we talk to this guy already? Let's talk to him again. What are these black things? Yeah, we did talk to him. It's this guy over here that we haven't talked to. All right, so we will come over here. Watch out for monsters. Oh, you poor guy. What are these black monsters? I've never seen anything like them. I'll hide in the corner. All right, let's do this. That's going to suck the water back down, I think. Yeah, there it goes. Like flushing a giant toilet. Who knows what's floating down here in these sewers? All right, let's go back over towards this person whose name we don't know yet. <laughs> and see if there's any way. Yeah, look at this. There's a little tunnel here. We can doggy crawl through here. How'd you get in here? Please, I am but a lowly soldier. Please, someone save me from these creatures. Ah! All right, whoops. Let's dig in here. Find some rupees. We're going to need all the rupees we can get to keep our hearts up. Nothing in that. What a jip. Why was it glowing? All right. Hello. We're back. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, did the detour tire you out, little wolf? By the way, are you using X to hone your senses like you should? Looks like the spirits in here, they're all soldiers. Where in the world could we be? You want out of here, right? Okay, we're off. Yeah, where could we be where there's a bunch of soldiers? Hmm... We must be in the Olive Garden. I'm not sure. All right. We've got to climb our way up here. Let's get rid of this guy first, just to be safe. Snap him. With our big wolfy jaws. 
snap his neck. We don't even know if he has a neck. All right, let's jump up here. Actually, is she going to let us jump yet, or she's going to make us fall? Oh, of course she is. She's going to make us fall. What are you doing? Well, you didn't tell us what to do, so we didn't know what else to do. All right, let's go back around here. Now she'll tell us the L button. I guess I have to do everything for you. Look, I'll show you all the small ledges, so just Z, I'll target me, and press A to jump where I am. All right, jump, jump, jump for my love. Jump in, da da we're a wolf. Jump, we're gonna dash, and we will hit this brick thing. Oh no, we'll jump up here. All right, um, got more enemies here. Attack him. Keep going, got a little hung up on the wall there. All right, we're gonna do some wolfy Cirque du Soleil, Cirque du Wolf Link over this way. And let's do some more. Do we need to talk? Okay, so we have to like click L, I guess, to get her to move and then do ZL to do the jumping. All right, uh-oh, got some, oh crap. I <laughs> got some scary bats coming down. Oh no, I already lost a heart. <laughs> oh no, I'm dead. <laughs> oh no. Oh, and his tongue flopped out and everything. <laughs> Game over. We'll retry. Let's see where it puts us. All the way back here. All right, I'll see you guys back at the tower. <laughs> oh. All right, stupid bats. You're not gonna get me this time. Done. Three in one shot. Ready to head out this door, right? Oh, boom. <laughs> Let me out. All right, I guess dogs can't open doors. All right, let's, um, oops. I didn't mean to talk to you. Woo, finally made it to the top. Look, we're almost outside. Why don't you try to find some footing we can use to climb up? That's what I was doing when I hit the button. All right, figured we'd be able to climb up this way. Oh gosh, are there more bats? I hear scary noises. I don't see anything. Alright, where do you want me to go? Alright, there we go. We just gotta get on this. So you know where we are yet? Eehee. We're in a big tower. Well, if you go to the type top, you might figure it out. Well, take me up there. Alright, let's go through this door. Outside, it's a bright, sunshiny day. Or is it? Everything's got this weird, eerie glow. It's raining. There's weird little black blocks flying down. I hate when that happens. And there's a rainstorm with added little black squares. <laughs> All right, there's another tower there. We're in a big castle. What castle could we be in? Who are we going to find here? So we were finally able to get out. And look at the sky. Isn't the black cloud of twilight looking beautiful today? Do you know where this is? You still don't know? Look, there's someone I want to introduce you to, but I'll need you to go to that tower to do it. Who could it be? Princess Peach? Rapunzel? Who else is up in a tower? I can't really think today. All right, but we've got a little another soldier over here. Oh. So there are even spirits up here, huh? This whole spirit thing is pretty new to you, isn't it? Even though these guys can see monsters, they don't know a thing about you. If you think I'm lying, why don't you check it out? Yes, we, <laughs> we're we aware of how to do this by now. What are these monstrous birds? What in the world is happening here? Oh, poor Hyrule Castle. <gasps> Gasp! We're in Hyrule Castle. Who knew? That wasn't the person I wanted you to meet, by the way. Well, let's just try and get to that tower. Yes, let's do it. Let's get on this. Leap up here. All right, speaking of monstrous birds. Here it is. Here's Big Bird here. All right, we need to take you down. Boom. Oh. All right, well, let's do one more big jump. Right off. Plummeting to the ground. The weird little, like, almost like feedback sound effect is always really haunting with these guys. All right. One punch to the face. And another... I think that's your face. I have no idea what it is. All right, let's go scramble along the tower here. It's a good thing we've got a sure-footed little puppy. Let's pick up a skull to chew on for comfort. Oh, all right. And, oh gosh, I don't want to fall. All right, there we go. Look, just a little farther. 
Let's jump, jump, jump. We dropped our skull while we were jumping. All right, gotta take out this big bird here. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Scramble back up. All right, let's attack. All right, these shingles are wet. All right, no one likes wet shingles. No one likes having shingles. I feel like an old person in a shingles commercial. All right, they're gone. And we are gonna just make a dash for the tower. All right, let's scramble our little puppy paws up in here. Who's waiting for us? Who could it be now? Do, 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 do. We still have some stairs to climb. And little gate. Who's in here? Can we see? Excuse me. Knock, knock. Just a little doggy coming in. Do you have any treats for me? Let's see. There's no, no water set out for me or anything. Are you even waiting for me? Oh, there's a little picture over here. Or is that a mirror? Looks like a broken mirror. Oh, we've got this nice little tattered curtain here with the Triforce logo on it. Sweep that back. Keep the light from coming in. Get a little few a little extra minutes of sleep when the sun rises. Shines in through the window. All right. Who's this robed figure? Link's a little rambunctious as a wolf. They've got the Sheikah symbol on the back there. Oh, hello. I guess I won't growl at you now. <laughs> Did she roll his eyes at him? Midna. Eehee, <laughs> you remembered my name. What an honor for me. Or, So this is the one whom... For whom you were searching. He's not exactly what I had in mind, but I guess he'll do. Er. Ruby Ruby Roo. You were imprisoned? No, this is my bracelet. I wear this as a fashion statement. I'm sorry. Poor thing. He has no idea where this is or what's happened. So don't you think you should explain to him what you've managed to do? You owe him that much. <laughs> Twilight Princess. Hee <laughs> hee. Da da da. Brooding. Listen carefully. This was once the land where the power of the gods was said to slumber. This was once the kingdom of Hyrule. But that blessed kingdom has been transformed by the king that rules the twilight. It has been turned into a world of shadows, ruled by creatures who shun the light. Albinos. <laughs> People who need to wear a lot of sunscreen to go out in the sun, like me. Twilight Realm might be a good place. Although sometimes when it's twilight and overcast like that, it's when it's the most dangerous time to get a sunburn. All right, so Zelda's hiding behind all her soldiers lined up. Do they have their shields on little stands? Like, whoa. It looks like some of the guys had little stands for their shields. Like, they couldn't hold them on their own, so they just propped them up on a little easel. The shields look like they have little eyeballs on them. Oh, poor guy. Ouch. Man, insult to injury. All right, we've got these big guys here. Oh my goodness. Their big hair. Someone needs to run a comb through that hair. Nice shoes. Oh, look at that big tongue. There's some uh, rocks in, in Majora's Mask that have like a face like that with a big tongue. Um, so I'm not sure if that's just a general Japanese thing or if it means something more. He looks like he has, oh gosh, he has eyes in the back of his head too. It's time for you to choose. Surrender or die. It's hard to talk with your tongue out like that. Oh yes, a question for all the land and people of Hyrule. Life or death? <gasps> Gasp. What am I gonna choose? Well, that was quick. <laughs> Drop that sword. I think she'd at least get a chance to swing it a bit. But I guess not. How sad. 
Even the goddesses look sad. I expect a tear, a tear to drop from the statue. Ding. And now that has brought us to where we are today. Oh no, it hasn't. <laughs> First we gotta burn the castle down. <laughs> Everybody looks like, oh goodness. It was like, oh man, the castle's on fire and we're turning to spirits. This has been, this has been quite the Monday. Twilight covered Hyrule like a shroud and without light people became as spirits. So they're actually been whisked away into some other realm. Within the twilight, they live on, unaware that they have passed into spirit forms. All the people know now is fear, fear of a nameless evil. Well, let's name him. Whenever you know something's name, it kind of takes away its power a bit. That is one good reason to label things, to take away their power. The kingdom succumbed to twilight. But I remain its princess. <gasps> La Gasp! It's Zelda! I am Zelda. Whoops, sorry, spoiler alert. <laughs> you don't have to look so sad. We actually find it to be quite livable. I mean, is Perpetual Twilight really all that bad? Midna, this is no time for levity. The shadow beasts have been searching far and wide for you. Why is this? Why indeed? You tell me, e he he. Zelda's crown has like a five rupee piece on it. <laughs> time has grown short. The guard will soon make his grounds. You think she could at least spring for like a purple rupee to go on her tiara? You must leave here quickly. Because not only is the purple rupees worth like 50 or 100, but purple is a simp royalty. But Zelda isn't about flaunting her wealth. She's like, you know, I'll just put a five rupee piece on my, my tiara here. Um, it's like people with, with penny loafers. You know, you don't need, you just stick the, your little penny in there. You don't need to go all out and put a quarter in your loafers. All right, we need to get out of here. Run, puppy, run. Uh-oh, oh, whoa. Hey, stop pulling my ears. Uh-oh, not that way. The guard's coming. Boy, he's prompt. Where are we gonna go? Up there looks like a good place to flee. All right, let's hit the button. Oh, I guess she's just gonna do it for us automatically. We're back outside in the rain. We're gonna be a stinky little wet wolf. Have that wet dog smell. Sniff, sniff. She's bounding away. E he he. Well, do you understand where we are now? I guess a promise is a promise. So I'll let you go back to where you first tumbled into twilight. But are you really sure you should be going back? Are you sure you aren't forgetting anything important? Hmm. Oh no! Oh no! My poor dead friends, do you want to save them? Well, in that case, little Midna would be happy to help you. But, well, you'd have to be my servant, and like a servant, you'd have to do exactly as I say. Why don't you go back, take a little time, and give it some thought, e he he. Whoa! wonder if that hurts, being dissolved into bricks. Are those, and, like, there's a lot of those little squares floating around. Are those all people who... Min had tried to teleport before, but it didn't quite stick. She's like, oh crap, they dissolved into the air again. I hate when that happens. All right, she's beaming us back through the little portal into the water here. We can't shake off this wet, wet dog smell. Oh, that's right, I forgot to mention one thing. Though you may have left the darkened realm, you haven't transformed back to your former self, and you won't anytime soon. Now, why could that be? Hmm, I don't know. Ehehe. <laughs> See you later. Later, Gator. Later, Skater. Later, Hater. All right, we're back in the world here. Making our way in the world today. We're gonna, uh, let's see, can I, let's see if I can stop here and save. I don't think I can save. Oh no, there it is, I pressed down. So we're gonna save the game here. And we will pick up next time as a wolf in the real world. So if you enjoyed this episode of Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. 
Splish Splash will be taking a bath until next time. See you guys then. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Thank you.